Removing and Replacing Parts HP EliteBook 650 G10 Notebook PC How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal Loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Using a flat bladed tool, carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement. Tow the tabs on the front edge of the base enclosure into the cutouts in the top cover and lower it into position. Apply pressure along the edges to reattach the base enclosure to the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Tighten the three captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, Use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Remove the battery. Replacement. Place the battery onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Reconnect the battery cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the memory modules. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Fold back the black mylar that covers the memory modules. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. The second memory module is removed in the same manner. Replacement Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the memory module into its slot on the system board. Press the memory module down to latch the arms. The second memory module is replaced in the same manner. Smooth over the black mylar that covers the memory modules. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw to release the M.2 solid state drive to the spring tension position. Grasp the edges of the M.2 solid state drive and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the M.2 solid state drive with the key in the M.2 solid state drive slot on the system board. Gently insert the M.2 solid state drive into its slot on the system board. Push the M.2 solid state drive down and replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures it to the top cover.
How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the mylar tape that covers the wireless LAN antennas. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Caution. Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully connect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Replace the mylar tape that covers the wireless LAN antennas. How to replace the wireless WAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Fold over the cushioned foil that covers the wireless WAN antennas. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless WAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless WAN module to the system board. Grasp the wireless WAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the wireless WAN module with the key in the wireless WAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the wireless WAN module into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless WAN module to the system board. Caution: Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless WAN module. Fold over the cushioned foil to cover the wireless WAN antennas. How to replace the RJ45 door. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Peel back the adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the top cover. Remove the display panel cable from its routing channel on the RJ45 door and the left hinge. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Open the left hinge. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the RJ45 door and bracket to the top cover. Lift and remove the RJ45 door. Replacement. Place the RJ45 door into place on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the RJ45 door and bracket to the top cover. Close the left hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Route the display panel cable over the left hinge and the RJ45 door. 
smooth over the adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the top cover. How to replace the I.O. board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, disconnect the battery, and remove the RJ45 door. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Open the left hinge. Lift the locking bar up on the I.O. board USB 3.0 ZIF connector and disconnect the I.O. board USB 3.0 ribbon cable from the I.O. board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the I.O. board ZIF connector and disconnect the I.O. board ribbon cable from the I.O. board. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the I.O. board to the top cover. Lift and remove the I.O. board. Replacement Place the I.O. board into place on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the I.O. board to the top cover. Insert the I.O. board USB 3.0 ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the I.O. board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the I.O. board ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the I.O. board and press the locking bar down. Close the left hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. How to replace the NFC module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel back the transparent tape that secures the NFC antenna ribbon cable to the NFC module. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the NFC module. Lift the locking bar up on the NFC module ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC module ribbon cable from the NFC module. Carefully lift the NFC module from the adhesive and alignment pin on the top cover. Remove the NFC module. Replacement. Place the NFC module on its alignment pin on the top cover. Press on the NFC module to adhere it to the adhesive on the top cover. Insert the NFC module ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the NFC module and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the NFC antenna ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the NFC module and press the locking bar down. Replace the tape that secures the NFC antenna ribbon cable to the NFC module. How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Carefully peel away the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Lift the locking bar up on the Smart Card Reader ZIF connector and disconnect the Smart Card Reader ribbon cable from the Smart Card Reader. Carefully peel away the Smart Card Reader ribbon cable from the touchpad. Peel back the tape that secures the NFC antenna ribbon cable to the NFC module. Lift the locking bar up on the NFC antenna ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the NFC module. Carefully peel away the NFC antenna ribbon cable from the top cover. Peel back the fabric adhesive that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Remove the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Remove the P0 Phillips head screw that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Lift the touchpad out of its cutout on the top cover and remove.
Replacement. Place the touchpad into its cutout on the top cover. Replace the P0 Phillips head screw that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Replace the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Smooth over the fabric adhesive that secures the touchpad to the top cover. Insert the NFC antenna ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the NFC module and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Press down on the NFC antenna ribbon cable to secure it to the top cover. Replace the tape that secures the NFC antenna ribbon cable to the NFC module. Insert the smart card reader board ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the smart card reader board and press the locking bar down. Press down on the smart card reader board ribbon cable to secure it to the touchpad. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the touchpad and press the locking bar down. Press down on the touchpad ribbon cable to secure it to the touchpad. How to replace the fingerprint reader. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and wireless WAN module. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader ribbon cable from the fingerprint reader. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Lift the front edge of the fingerprint reader bracket and slide it out of its cutout on the top cover and remove. At an angle, slightly lift the left edge of the notebook and push the fingerprint reader module to remove it from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the fingerprint reader module. Replacement. Place the fingerprint reader into its cutout on the top cover and press down gently to adhere it. Slide the fingerprint reader bracket into its cutout on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Insert the fingerprint reader ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the fingerprint reader and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the smart card reader board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the counterweight to the top cover. Remove the counterweight from the top cover. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the smart card reader board bracket to the top cover. Lift the smart card reader board bracket off of its alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the smart card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the smart card reader board ribbon cable from the smart card reader board. Using a flat bladed tool, lift the smart card reader board off of its alignment pins and adhesive on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the smart card reader board onto its alignment pins and adhesive on the top cover. Insert the smart card reader board ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the smart card reader board. and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the smart card reader board bracket over the smart card reader board and its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the smart card reader board bracket to the top cover. Place the counterweight into position on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the counterweight to the top cover. How to replace the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Disconnect the RTC battery cable from its connector on the system board. 
remove the RTC battery cable from its routing channel on the top cover. Using a non-conductive flat bladed tool, lift the RTC battery out of the clips on the top cover. Remove the RTC battery. Replacement. Place the RTC battery into position in the clips on the top cover. Route the RTC battery cable through its routing channel on the top cover. Connect the RTC battery cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the system fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, disconnect the battery, and remove the M.2 solid state drive. Removal. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the system fan. Disconnect the system fan cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the top cover. Lift the system fan off of its alignment pins and partially slide it out from under the heatsink. Remove the system fan. Replacement. Partially slide the system fan under the heatsink and place the system fan over its screw wells on the top cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the top cover. Connect the system fan cable to its connector on the system board. Route the display panel cable into the routing channel on the system fan. Connect the display panel cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. In the numerical order indicated, remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink to the system board. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heatsink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heatsink from side to side to detach it from the system board. Lift the heat sink from the system board and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heat sink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Use alcohol in a soft cloth or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease from the heat sink and processor. Use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor. Align the heat sink over its screw wells on the system board and place the heat sink into position. In the numerical order indicated, replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module, system fan, and heat sink. Removal. Remove the wireless WAN antennas from the routing channel on the system board. Disconnect the microphone board cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the microphone board cable from its routing channel on the system board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the cable holder to the top cover. Remove the cable holder. Disconnect the following cables from their connectors on the system board. Speaker cable. 
DC in connector cable, fingerprint reader cable, NFC module ribbon cable, keyboard ribbon cable, keyboard backlight ribbon cable, touchpad ribbon cable, smart card reader cable, I.O. board cable. Note, the RTC battery should be removed with the system board. Use a non-metallic flat bladed tool to remove the RTC battery from the clips on the top cover and remove. Remove the RTC battery cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the right edge of the system board and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the system board with the RTC battery still connected to the system board. Replacement Carefully tow the external connectors on the system board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower the system board into the top cover. Caution. Take care not to trap any of the cables between the system board and top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Place the RTC battery into position in the clips on the top cover and press down to adhere the RTC battery to the adhesive on the top cover. Route the RTC battery cable through its routing channel on the top cover. Connect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. Speaker cable. DC in connector cable. Fingerprint reader cable. NFC module ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Keyboard backlight ribbon cable. Touchpad ribbon cable. Smart card reader cable. I.O. board cable. Place the cable holder into its cutout on the system board. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the cable holder to the top cover. Route the microphone board cable in its routing channel on the system board. Connect the microphone board cable to its connector on the system board. Route the wireless WAN antennas in the routing channel on the system board. Important! After a system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings. How to replace the DC in connector. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module, system fan, heat sink, and system board. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Open the right hinge to expose the DC in connector cable. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the top cover. Carefully remove the DC in connector from its cutout on the top cover. Replacement Place the DC in connector into its cutout on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the top cover. Close the right hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module, system fan, heat sink, and system board. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right speaker to the top cover. 
Lift the right speaker up from the alignment pins on the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left speaker to the top cover. Lift the left speaker up from the alignment pins on the top cover. Remove the speaker cable from its routing channel on the top cover. Remove the speakers. Replacement Place the left speaker under the tabs and on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left speaker to the top cover. Route the speaker cable through its routing channel on the top cover. Place the right speaker under the tabs and on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right speaker to the top cover. How to replace the display panel assembly top cover with keyboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, disconnect the battery, and remove the M.2 solid state drive. Removal. Remove the plastic mylar that covers the wireless LAN antenna connectors on the wireless LAN module. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from their connectors on the wireless LAN module. Remove the wireless LAN antenna cables from the routing channel on the top cover. Fold back the sponge foil that covers the wireless WAN antenna connectors on the wireless WAN module. Disconnect the wireless WAN antenna cables from their connectors on the wireless WAN module. Remove the wireless WAN antenna cables from the routing channel on the top cover. Disconnect the microphone board cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the microphone board cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Peel back the adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the top cover. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the system fan and RJ45 door bracket. Partially open the notebook. Then grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and open it approximately 180 degrees so that the notebook is lying flat on your work surface. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Lift the display panel assembly from its alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement Note. Before installing a new top cover, remove all components from the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Tow the display panel hinges into their cutouts and onto their alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and fold the notebook closed. Route the display panel cable into the routing channel on the RJ45 door bracket and system fan. Smooth over the adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the top cover. Connect the display panel cable to its connector on the system board. Route the microphone board cable into the routing channel on the top cover.
Connect the microphone board cable to its connector on the system board. Route the wireless WAN antenna cables into the routing channel on the top cover. Caution. Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Connect the wireless WAN antenna cables to their connectors on the wireless WAN module. Fold over the sponge foil to cover the wireless WAN antenna connectors on the wireless WAN module. Route the wireless LAN antenna cables into the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the wireless LAN antenna cables to their connectors on the wireless LAN module. Replace the adhesive that covers the wireless LAN antenna connectors on the wireless LAN module. How to replace the display bezel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and display panel assembly. Removal. Using your fingers or a non-metallic flat bladed tool, carefully release the top, sides, and bottom edges of the display bezel from the adhesive and retention tabs that secure it to the display enclosure. Remove the display bezel. Replacement. Important. Take care not to trap the display panel and wireless antenna cables between the display bezel and display enclosure. Place the display bezel into position on the display enclosure. Carefully apply pressure along the edges of the display bezel to secure it to the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, and display bezel. Removal. Using a pair of tweezers, take a firm hold of the tab of the stretch release tape at the top left side of the panel. Carefully pull the stretch release tape from the top of the panel as horizontally as possible until the tape clears the display panel assembly. Caution. Take care to pull the tape slowly to avoid snapping of the tape. If the tape is broken, it will be very difficult to remove the display panel. The stretch release tape on the right side of the panel is removed in the same manner. Lift the display panel and turn it over to access the display panel cable. Remove the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up and disconnect the display panel cable from the display panel. Remove the display panel. Replacement. Place new strips of stretch release tape on the display enclosure. Note, refer to the service guide for the position of the tape strips. Position the display panel at an angle so that the display panel cable faces the display panel connector. Connect the display panel cable to the display panel and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the fabric adhesive over the display panel connector.
turn the display panel over and carefully place it into position on the display enclosure, making sure not to trap the display panel cable under the display panel. Press down gently along the edges of the display panel to attach it to the adhesive strips on the display enclosure. How to replace the webcam. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam ZIF connector. Using a non-metallic flat bladed tool, carefully lift the webcam from the adhesive and alignment pins that secure it to the display enclosure and disconnect the webcam ribbon cable from the webcam. Remove the webcam. Replacement. Insert the webcam ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the webcam and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the webcam onto its alignment pins on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure to the webcam to adhere it to the display enclosure. How to replace the microphone board cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the microphone board cable for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the microphone board cable ZIF connector and disconnect the microphone board cable from the microphone board. Remove the microphone board cable from the routing channel on the right hinge. Carefully remove the microphone board cable from under the wireless antenna cables and the adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure. Remove the microphone board cable. Replacement. Place the microphone board cable into position under the wireless antennas on the display enclosure. Press down along the microphone board cable to attach it to the adhesive on the display enclosure. Insert the microphone board ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the microphone board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Route the microphone board cable over the routing channel on the right hinge. How to replace the hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel cable, microphone board cable, and wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the microphone board cable from the routing channel over the right hinge. Remove the wireless LAN antennas from the routing channel over the right hinge. Remove the display panel cable from its routing channel along the left hinge. Remove the hinge bracket that secures the right hinge to the display enclosure. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the display enclosure. Lift the right hinge up from its alignment pins and remove. The left hinge is removed in the same manner. Replacement. Place the right hinge onto its alignment pins on the display enclosure. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the display enclosure. Replace the hinge bracket that secures the right hinge to the display enclosure.
the left hinge is replaced in the same manner. Route the display panel cable in its routing channel along the left hinge. Route the wireless LAN antennas in the routing channel on the right hinge. Route the microphone board cable in the routing channel on the right hinge. How to replace the display panel webcam ribbon cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, display panel, and webcam. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the display panel webcam ribbon cable for later replacement. Remove the display panel webcam ribbon cable from the routing channel over the left hinge and the display enclosure. Carefully remove the display panel webcam ribbon cable from the adhesive and routing channel on the display enclosure. Remove the display panel webcam ribbon cable. Replacement. Place the display panel webcam ribbon cable between the alignment markings on the display enclosure and press down along the cable to reattach it to the adhesive on the display enclosure. Guide the display panel webcam ribbon cable through the routing channel on the display enclosure. Route the display panel webcam ribbon cable through the left hinge. How to replace the wireless antenna cable's microphone board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure battery, display panel assembly, display bezel, display panel, and display panel webcam ribbon cable. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Carefully remove the wireless antenna cables from the adhesive and routing channel on the display enclosure. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the microphone board cable ZIF connector and disconnect the microphone board cable from the microphone board. Peel away the fabric adhesive that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board to the display enclosure. Use a non-conductive flat bladed tool to remove the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board from the display enclosure. Carefully peel away the adhesive tape that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board to the display enclosure. Remove the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board. Carefully peel away the adhesive tape that secures the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Use a non-conductive flat bladed tool to remove the left wireless antenna transceiver from the display enclosure. Carefully peel back the metallic tape that secures the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Remove the left wireless antenna transceiver. Replacement. Caution. Use care when handling and installing the new antennas. 
Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antennas and degrade notebook performance. Similarly, crinkling or pinching of the metallic tape can also degrade performance. Place the left wireless antenna transceiver on the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure to adhere the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Smooth over the metallic tape that secures the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Smooth over the fabric adhesive that secures the left wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Place the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board on the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure to adhere the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board to the display enclosure. Smooth over the metallic tape that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board to the display enclosure. Smooth over the fabric adhesive that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver microphone board to the display enclosure. Reconnect the microphone board cable to the ZIF connector on the microphone board and press the locking bar down. Route the left wireless antenna cables along the routing channel and adhesive that secure it to the display enclosure. Route the right wireless antenna cables along the routing channel and adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.